AI is getting increasingly better by the day. And ChatGPT just brought out their new AI tool called the Agent. And this Agent is absolutely mind-blowing for print-on-demand. And in this video, I'm going to show you seven use cases that I'm using and that you can use to really accelerate your print-on-demand business, save you a ton of time, and produce better results. I've tried almost all the different AI tools now for print on demand. I've been in this space for over 11 years. Unfortunately, AI hasn't been available for all of those 11 years. God, I wish it was. But either way, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I've got a community now of people who are also building successful print on demand stores. So yeah, this is going to be really, really cool. And by the end of this video, you're going to know so many different ways that you can use the new chat GPT agent feature to really build your print on demand business successfully. So let's start with the first. So you've got the new chat GPT agent. And as I said, it literally changes print on demand forever. No joke there. This is what it looks like. Okay. And there'll be things popping up showing you how it works and all of that. But this is what it looks like, right? So what is the ChatGPT agent? Because a lot of people don't really know what that is, right? So ChatGPT, as you know, have a deep research feature and an operator feature. So basically deep research is it can look at websites and documents and review their contents. And then operator, it can take action on websites and documents or create documents. And the ChatGPT agent is just deep research plus operator. That's all it is. It's not something to overthink about, right? Now, ChatGPT agent's key unique features, well, it can do deep analysis and research. It can actually interact with websites and apps. So when ChatGPT first came out, I don't know if you remember, but a lot of the information was outdated. It couldn't get anything in real time. And it was a little bit rubbish. It's gotten better and better and better. And now to the point where you can literally plug in your own Etsy store, your Amazon store, your Shopify store, and ask it to do a deep dive evaluation into certain areas or whatever you want, and it will do it. It's really cool. And I'm going to show you what I mean in this video. So firstly, how can you access the ChatGPT agent? So when you go to ChatGPT, click the tools, and then at the top there, it just says agent mode. You just want to click on agent mode. That's it. OK, now a couple of suggested possibilities. When you click agent mode, check the suggested examples for even more ideas of what's possible. So you can see all of these different ideas. And these are just ones that are coming from, you know, chat GPT and just saying things that you can try out. Now, by all means, give them a go. But that's not what we're really interested in, because what we're really interested in is how can you use ChatGPT agents for print on demand specifically? There'll be lots of videos and lots of posts and lots of examples on ways that you can use this agent. Like you can use it to book flights. You can use it to do research into something. You can use it to help you find the cheapest product. I used it recently to help me find a really good deal on a Lego set that was retired. It just did all the research for me whilst I didn't have to do it. I could get back to work and I could focus and this just happened in the background. So it's got a lot of use cases, but we really care about the use cases of print on demand. So. We're really just at the beginning of the possibilities here. And these are just some ideas based on what I am currently using it for. So number one, a site and design analyzer. Since ChatGPT agents can browse websites, analyze images, and give detailed reports, we can use it to analyze our own website. So this is the prompt that we use, okay? I don't know why that keeps happening. I think it's because of my hand. This is the prompt that we used. An incredibly deep dive analysis on all of my thumbnails giving me suggestions that I may not have thought of. And here is the results, right? It does all of this, okay? You can see it says how long it's worked for. So sometimes it works for quite a long time. Sometimes it's like does it in five minutes and in six minutes and 10 minutes. But sometimes it can take like an hour, which is a little bit strange. And sometimes you have to like refresh it when it does that. It's a little bit of a glitch. And I'll go through the drawbacks and the glitches at the end of this video. But you can see, so this is one of the designs. And then it says main visual clarity issues, suggested fixes. Now, I want you to remember this is AI at the end of the day. And you should always try and stick to the principles and the concepts that I'm teaching in these videos and in my community. But having AI help 
analyze all these things can really make a big difference. And especially if you put in a really specific prompt, it can make a big difference. And if you want all the prompts that I use in this video and all the prompts that I use for my own business, you can download them for free. The link will be down below where you can get all of these prompts that you can copy and paste and you can put them into your own chat GPT agent. Obviously you might wanna update links with your products or your store or your niche, but all you have to do is, is update those little bits and then you can get all the same research that I'm getting. The next is a design analyzer. So here are my design rules. Now this, you can go as detailed as possible. So one, readable at three feet, two, maximum six words, three, use emotion like irony or pride, um, and then go to this Etsy store, and this is a, like, a link to the Etsy store. Review all the listings that are scored each on a scale of 1 to 10 per rule. Suggest which designs to archive or improve. Now, I actually have a much more detailed prompt. This was just a quick one that I wanted to make for this video to show you how simplified you can make it. But I actually have a much deeper prompt that goes into a lot more rules that I have. Um, and it's a lot more focused. And it explains a lot more to the agent so that the results you get are really, really, really valuable results. And again, that will be free in the download pack. All you have to do is put your email in and you can get all of them for free. But you can see what it did. So it went to that Etsy store and it here's the listings. All of, all of these are the listings. So personalized high-vis vests. So that got a score of six, four, and two. Not very good, right? Readable. Um, words and emotion. That's what the RWE is, right? And then it gives some examples. So never, or some improvements, I should say. So never too old to go clubbing. That got a 798. Um, keep meets the word limit and use playful irony and clubbing font size to remain large to keep it illegible at three feet. So brilliant, okay? And it gives you all of this data. And of course, once you go and you plug in the even more detailed prompt, you're going to get much more detailed results. The third use case is the Etsy bestseller research. And I actually got this idea from Philip Anders. So shout out to Philip Anders, who's also made a video on the ChatGPT agent. It's a solid video as well. And he uses it to find Etsy best-selling designs or Etsy high-selling designs. And so do I. So do most uh, successful print-on-demand sellers, right? You can just copy and paste this prompt with the link down below. But this is the prompt. And what it does is it, well, this one it said it worked for an hour. So sometimes it glitches a little bit, but what it does is it gives you all of the links and these links actually work. These are the high um, high in demand selling t-shirts, right? Two people bought this in the last 24 hours. Two people bought this in the last 24 hours. Uh, five bought this in the last 24 hours. Two in the last 24 hours. That is showing some good demand for these t-shirts and we can learn a lot from them. We can adapt them, we can change them. We can see the fonts that they use, the graphics that they use, the intentionality that they were going for the niche, the trend, the style, all of it. There's so much that we can learn from all of this. Um, this is probably my favorite. Number three is probably my favorite use case for the ChatGPT agent when it comes to print on demand. Research to design in one prompt. This is absolutely wild. So do you believe it's possible to get a ChatGPT agent to do full research on your niche and create a design all with just one prompt? Let's try it. This was the prompt, right? Please research winning golf t-shirts online. You can have a pause and read through this, right? And what this did is it it, it researched all the top best-selling uh, golf t-shirts, right? It's got all the phrases over here, as you can see, right? It observed design trends. It used unique concepts for your store and it produced a design all from this one prompt, right? Now imagine setting and forgetting so you put this prompt in right and then you get back to work you get back to doing something else you get back to your own research you get back to uploading you get back to making more ads or or, or, or making your mock-ups whatever it is and this is just running in the background how mad is that that's amazing and you can change this right you could ask it to make five designs you can ask it to do even more in-depth research you can expand on this prompt as much as you want and give it as many instructions as you want and it will go and do it and it will show you it, it it will show you it working through and doing it as you can see here on the video you can see it's actually working through it in real time you can watch you can watch what it's doing it's really really cool um so yeah i mean just let let that sink in right 
I did zero research for this design. The ChatGPT agent did everything for me. I did zero designing to create this. The agent did that. And here you go. Now look, there's a lot to be worked on. Although not a lot to be worked on, to be honest. The, the words, if the words could just be the same width, right? And this could have the same angle like this, like it's got up there. I would say that's a really, really good design. That's a design that could definitely go on a t-shirt, that could definitely go on a tote bag, go on a hoodie, um, and you could definitely sell it in your store. So again, this is something that was done in the background. I didn't do anything. That's amazing. And it did it in five minutes. Look, this worked for five minutes and it did it. That's absolutely insane. That's really, really, really cool. Okay, number five, uh, uh, the fifth use case, Reddit research. Now, the reason why I think this one is so cool is because a lot of a lot of um, true fans, I should say, a lot of fanatics in your niche, whether your niche is golf or fishing or cooking, whatever, a lot of fanatics will go to Reddit. Reddit is where like deep, deep fans go and they discuss topics. So I use Reddit a lot to kind of come up with ideas, to see what people are thinking, to really get in the mind of people in my niche. Being able to use the ChatGPT agent to do that for me will literally save me hours upon hours of browsing through different forums, reading tons of things, like it's brilliant. So can you research Reddit posts for the best phrase ideas for funny golf t-shirts? And it will do that. And again, you can give it way more example, you can give it way more instructions to really dive deep into the Reddit post, say exactly what you're looking for, ask it to compile a list in a very specific way. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a massive game changer. It's probably the first game changer that we've had in the last three or maybe even six months. It's huge. A lot happens on Reddit and it's a great place to do research. And of course, here we go. Self-deprecating or, sar or sarcastic ones. Sarcastic encouragement after a bad shot. Uh, quips about distance layups and scoring. Comments about lost balls or directional misses. And these are all design ideas, right? Um, I didn't see it, but it sounded good. At least you had the right club. Um, just not my day. Um, let's go for some of these ones. Let's have a look. Hard to believe, but I've never had a lesson. Loft equals lack of effing talent. This is brilliant. Really, it's just so cool. And these are all based on what people are saying in Reddit, right? Um, basically, I mean, as I said here, basically, this is, I don't know what is going on with, um, I think it's when I do that. Very strange. Anyways, it's more in-depth uh, phrase research phrase research than any other version of ChatGBT, and it's based on real market data, real people, real real stories, real posts, real concerns, real emotions, and it's so cool. Okay, number six is mood board helper. I was fully expecting this one, by the way, to completely fail, but to my surprise, it actually worked really well. So you can ask it to create you a general mood board. So search Pinterest, Amazon, Google, Redbubble, and Etsy for funny golf t-shirts, collect 30 images of t-shirts, showing layouts, fonts, and colors, build a downloadable PDF mood board, and give me the download link. You can also ask it to do winning mood boards. So that's where you ask that it has over 50 sales or reviews, collect 30 images. So there's different ways you can do it, but again, in the download, the instructions will be quite a little bit more detailed. These are just small snippets of the prompts I'm using. If you want the full, full prompts, then click the link down below, pop your email in, and you can get them. It's completely for free. Like you don't have to pay anything to get these prompts. So yeah, definitely go check those out. But in nine minutes, the chat GPT, oh, what is happening? In nine minutes, the chat GPT agent provided a full PDF of ideas. You can see over there, right? Click that link and it's got a full a full mood board of ideas right now there's obviously some really bad ideas here like this one um this one so there's there's also there are some bad ideas here and once you know the principles like i said this isn't perfect you still need to understand design principles concepts um, and things to look out for uh, but it definitely gets you off to a really good start and then number seven the design red flag identifier now this is really cool 
Um, basically, we created a red flag checklist that I shared in my community. If you haven't heard of my community, it's called Design Hub. It's where I help you go from no business to a successful print on demand store. And I teach you everything in between. And there's over 450 people in there. It's a brilliant community. And I share a lot of stuff there. And one of the things I shared last week was the design red flag checklist. And it's basically a checklist of what you should um, look for when you are looking at your designs. These are all the potential red flags um, that you might have in your designs that you need to fix. Uh, so what we did is we we said, please analyze the top designs on the homepage of, and then you put your site in for the red flags listed below. And then we list those red flags below. And I know this is a, a PDF that's only in the design community, but with the link down below, with with all my prompts, you will be able to get this prompt as one of them. So technically, it's just a little backdoor way for you to get access to this PDF of the red flags. Um, yeah, don't tell anyone. It's pretty cool. Um, we 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 try to add new PDFs, new infographics, new resources to the community every single week. That's our goal. But anyways, this red flag checklist is really, really cool and it can help identify really bad designs, really good designs and things to look out for with your designs. So here you go. Overall assessment, phrase and tone, placement and size, fonts, graphics, colors, final design, summary. Right. And you can get so much detail. You can keep asking it. Go further. Go deeper. Give me more. And it really does a fantastic job. So just a quick a quick point, because obviously this isn't perfect. You know, the cons of ChatGPT agent mode. The cons of this pen is just making look what, what, what is it doing? I don't even know. I don't even know what is going on. Anyway, with any new feature, especially AI, you can expect a lot of hype around the product, but there are always going to be problems. It helps be aware of these issues so you don't have wild expectations. So firstly, the browser doesn't always work. So this is obviously what the browser looks like as you've seen from this video, and it doesn't always work. There's lots of 404 errors. It can forget the original prompt. It can work for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then produce nothing at the end and say it's encountered an error, which is very annoying. It has trouble logging into sites. So one of the things we try to do is give it access to our Shopify, our Printify, and all these different elements so that it could do a lot of data analysis for us and it can have issues doing that especially if you've got you know 2fa or anything like that it has trouble accessing anything on your computer so anything that you've obviously got on your local computer it will have trouble accessing which in a way is good because i don't really want sam altman or anyone at OpenAI to access everything on my computer now most importantly this is not a silver bullet okay Please, please, please don't think this is a silver bullet. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a hack to be successful print on demand. There's a lot. ChatGPT won't tell you if a design is actually good or not, or if it will sell. It will just tell you, um, it will just give you answers based on what your prompt was. So if you ask it to look out for something, it will tell you if it spots that, but it can't tell you if it will get sales. It doesn't have years and years of print on demand experience, you know, so you've got to remember all of that. It is a huge step forward, but we're still just at the start of this. So please, please, please don't, you know, rely on it fully. You've got to kind of use your own intuition. You, you should ask people if you're in the community, you should ask for validation, you should get feedback, but don't just put all your eggs in this chat GPT agents basket. You know, you have to lead the strategy. You must be the creative brain and you must tweak the design and get them right. Okay, don't ever blindly rely on chat GPT, no matter how good it might get. And then lastly, do you want all the, the action prompts I've made for free? So all the prompts in this video, as well as like the more detailed prompts, the ones that you can just copy and paste into your own chat GPT agent and have it pretty much run your print on demand business and do a lot of stuff for you. Then all you have to do is click the link down below, pop your email in and you'll get access to all of those prompts that I've made for free. But yeah, this, this chat GPT agent is genuinely the coolest thing that's ever come out of open AI. I think it's incredible. The, in fact, well, the element of where ChatGPT started making really good designs as well. So you can ask it for designs. That was the first thing. But now this does that as well as doing all this deep research for you. And it can just save you hours and hours and hours of time. So if you don't have access to ChatGPT, then of course this is irrelevant. If you do have access to ChatGPT, really give this a go. It's so cool. And again, just start with all of my downloadable um, prompts, just copy and paste them in. 
and see where it takes you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And if you want to join the community, the link for that is down below as well. We'd be happy to have you, be happy to help you build your own print on demand or successful print on demand business.